Hello lovely kittens, in this video we're going to be taking a number and putting it into an algebraic expression. They start off easier but they do get trickier towards the end, there's a lot you have to pay attention to in this. If you want to get all the questions so we can do them together, we can work together on this, you can go to my website and just download them from there. When we're putting numbers into an algebraic expression, we need to replace the letter with the number. So here we need to find E when 5F equals minus 2. So E equals, and we know that in this circumstance, F equals 4. E equals 5 times 4 minus 2. 5 times 4 is 20 minus 2. 20 minus 2 is 18. Find the value of t when a equals 2 and b equals 3. So we have t equals 7 times a, so that's 7 times 2, minus b squared, so that is minus 3 squared. 7 times 2 is 14, minus 3 squared, 3 squared is 9. 14 minus 9 gives us 5. Find the value for b when x equals 2 and y equals 9. b equals 4 times x, which is 2, plus 10, divided by y, which is 9. So 4 times 2 is 8, plus 10, divided by 9. b equals 8 plus 10, 18, divided by 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. Find the value for x when y equals 7 and z equals minus 2. So x equals 3 times y, which is 7, plus 2 times z, which is minus 2. 3 times 7 equals 21, plus 2 times minus 2, that is minus 4. 21 minus 4 is 17. Find C when F equals 50. C equals 5 over 9. F is 50 minus 32. So that equals 5 over 9. 50 minus 32 is 18. 5 over 9 times 18 is 10. Find D when T equals 4 and V equals minus 3. So D equals 3 times 4 squared minus 5 times minus 3. For this one, it's important to know which bits you do first. We have to do the indices before we do the multiplication. So it is 4 squared, not 12 squared. So that is 3 times 16 minus 5 times minus 3. 3 times 16 is 48 minus um, 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. 48 minus minus 15 minus minus becomes an add giving us 63. If you would got confused and done 4 times 3 first you would have come up with 12 squared minus minus 15. 12 squared is 144 plus 15, which would have given you 159. This is the wrong answer. This is the correct answer, 63. You need to pay attention to whether you do your multiplication or your powers first. Find V when U equals 12, A equals minus 4, and T equals 1. So V equals U, which is 12, plus A, which is minus 4, times T, which is minus 1. That equals 12 plus minus 4 times minus 1 makes plus 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. Find S when U equals a half, T equals 6, and A equals minus 1. S equals a half times 6, which is T plus a half times a, which is minus 1, times t, which is 6 squared. 
s equals a half times 6, which is 3, plus a half times minus 1 times 6 squared, which is 36. So s equals 3 plus a half times minus 1 times 36 gives us minus 18. 3 plus minus 18 equals minus 15. Find y when x equals minus a half and w equals 5. So y equals 4 times minus a half squared minus 2 times 5. Now this you need to be really, really careful on. Because if you don't type this into your calculator properly, you will make a mistake. So we need to do 4 times minus a half squared. If you just type minus a half squared into your calculator, it will give you the answer of minus 2.5. Because the minus goes with the 0.5, you need to put that in brackets and you will get the answer of plus 2.5. So that is 4 times 2 point, uh, 0.25 minus 2 times 5, which is 10. 4 times quarter is 1 minus 10, that is minus 9. Find A when B equals 2 and C equals minus 8. A equals 3 times B, which is 2 squared, plus C, which is minus 8, all divided by 5. A equals 3, 2 squared is 4, plus minus 8 divided by 5. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 8 divided by 5. 12 minus 8 is 4 divided by 5, or 0.8. Find the value for f when d equals 6 and e equals 7. f equals the square root of 5d, 5 times d, which is 6, minus 2 times e, which is 7. So it's equal to the square root of 5 times 6, which is 30, minus 2 times 7, which is 14. That is equal to the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4. Find the value for x when a equals 6 and b equals minus 1. x equals a squared, so 6 squared, divided by 3, minus 2 times b, which is minus 1. x equals 6 squared, which is 36 divided by 3, minus 2 times minus 1, so that's minus 2. x equals 36 divided by 3, which is 12, minus minus 2, which is plus 4. 12 plus 4 is 14. Find p when r equals 2 and s equals minus 3. This is another one where you have to be really careful with the order that you do things in and how you use your calculator. P equals R, which is 2, times minus 3 squared, plus R squared, so that's 2 squared, times minus 3. Minus 3 squared, that is 2 times 9, plus 2 squared is 4 times minus 3. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, 18 plus minus 12 is 6. Find y when a equals 5, b equals 4 and c equals minus 3. So y equals the square root of a squared, so that's 5 squared times b which is 4, plus 5 times c, so that's 5 times minus 3 divided by 2. So, the square root of 5 squared, so that is 25 times 4, plus 5 times minus 3, so that's minus 15 divided by 2. 25 times 4 is 100, so we need the square root of 100, plus 15 divided by 2, that is minus 7.5. The square root of 100 is 10, minus 7.5, gives us an answer of 2.5. 
5. Find a when x equals minus 7 and y equals 1.2. A equals 2, open brackets, minus 7 minus 3 squared minus 5 times 1.2 squared. Minus 7 minus 3 gives us minus 10. So it's minus 10 squared and we need 2 lots of it. Minus 5 times 1.2 squared. 1.2 squared is 1.4. 4. Minus 10 squared is 10, so this is equal to 2 times 10, minus 5 times 1.44, which is 7.2. 2 times 10 is 200, minus 7.2. 200 minus 7.2 is 192.8. Well done guys, those were getting particularly tricky towards the end. Now you can move on to the next video.